The Letterbox Pillar Box filter can be found under Dashwood Editor Essentials in your effects palette. Today I'm using Premiere Pro, but this effect works just the same in Final Cut Pro 7, Final Cut Pro 10, Apple Motion, and After Effects. So let's apply the plugin to this piece of footage. Now it defaults into a 239 to 1 letterbox. This is also commonly known as 235 to 1 or 240 to 1. So you can see that if we select the target aspect ratio, we have a lot of different um, letterbox or pillar box formats that we can choose. So if we, for example, choose 4 by 3, then we get pillar box on the left and right. Or we can go as high as 259 to 1, which is Cinerama. And then we get letterbox top and bottom. The plugin will work with any format of video. But if you're working with Alexa footage that is anamorphic, then you may want to apply the plugin and select the 2391 anamorphic setting, which will actually pillar box the areas that are supposed to be cropped out. And that way, uh, if there's any boom mics or anything that you're not supposed to see outside of the actual active area, it'll just be pillar boxed. So let's go back to our 1080p sequence and just have a look at uh, what we have going on here for options. So we can adjust the, uh, the shift. So I'm going to put this back on 239 to 1. So let's say we want to shift this image up or down. We can change which portion of the image we're actually seeing. And the same holds true if we are uh, pillar boxing, then we can use the pillar box shift and move it left and right and recompose. Let me just switch back to 239 to 1. The edges can be made soft, if you would like. And you can also change the color of the letterbox area. I remember there was a series of commercials in the 90s that used blue for top and bottom, like that, so you can get creative or you can change the opacity of the letterbox as well. And that would allow you to actually um, put this layer of video on top of another layer of video. Now you can apply this filter to every clip in your sequence, or you can just nest a bunch of clips and then apply it to the complete nest. The same holds true in Final Cut Pro 10, where you can use compound clips, or After Effects, where you can pre-compose.